I'm Clara Hermit, this is my YouTube channel and this is another edition of The Naked Truth where I am naked talking about the truth. I just spat in when I said that. When I say truth it is my truth and of course our opinions may be completely different but one of the biggest things that I'm learning is to find compassion and understanding for those people with whom I do not share the same beliefs and opinions. And it is possible, but it is hard work. Today, I wanted to talk about exercise. Exercise, oh yeah. On my channel, I have a series I did a few years ago called Fit State of Mind, which was about the relationship or my relationship with exercise and it was about um, me getting fit again after having my operation and bringing myself back to physical fitness. When I was away traveling, which is also another video series here on my YouTube, I didn't really do any exercise. I came back a year and a half ago and even though I'm a qualified personal trainer, I have found it so hard to get back into exercise. I've been going to the gym since I was about 16 and I think I found it really easy to go to the gym because my motivation was how I looked and I was really obsessed with my appearance um, to the point where it was like that's all I thought that was my worth basically so I thought if I didn't have you know if I didn't look good um, then I was worthless basically and that's what I told myself and that's how I thought about myself that's completely changed now and if you've watched any of my videos you'll probably have seen my kind of like growth and and the way that I've changed um, but one thing that did change is I just stopped wanting to go to the gym and I was finding it really difficult to find any motivation and since I came back from traveling I've tried so hard like I've been going here and there you know maybe I'll go for a couple of weeks I've tried training with the trainer and I just haven't I just haven't felt like I haven't had the energy or the drive or the motivation to go to the gym and I've just felt a little bit like lost because in my adult life it's the first time where I'm like no, I've got nothing. I've got nothing driving me. So someone said to me that it's my, because my values have changed and then the motivation is not going to be the same because it's, I don't have the same drivers. So I was like, right, okay, what are my new values and how am I going to get myself back into the gym? And what I've realised and what I guess I've always known, but what has now become my new driving force for me going to the gym is the fact that it makes me feel so much better up here and um, I've spoken about mental health here on my channel um, and my mental health, my uh, depression, anxiety um, and eating disorders so yeah I think that when I don't exercise I feel completely different and we know that exercise uh, releases endorphins and other chemicals into the body that lift our mood but there's something it gives me like a certain confidence and it gives me a certain drive so it makes me way more productive and that's even with doing videos like I haven't been doing videos consistently for ages and I haven't even I was just like oh I don't know who I am I don't know what I'm supposed to do what people don't like it and you know blah blah it doesn't matter I just I like doing these videos because I like doing them so I'm like, hold on a second. Now I've started exercising, all of a sudden I have this like desire and this drive to, you know, share and help other people and, and try and do the best that I can. So when it comes to exercise, I think that a lot of the time we start off with the motivation is like, I want to look a certain way, I want to lose weight, I want to do this, I want to do that. And I, I don't know, I feel like those things maybe aren't important enough to keep us going unless like me when I was younger you're absolutely obsessed with it however knowing that it makes me better mentally which makes my whole entire life better my whole entire life that's not an exaggeration that is a truth is what is now making me go to the gym so when I wake up my alarm goes off at 5 30 in the morning and I'm like oh no please I just want to go back to bed I'm like hold on no I don't just want to go back to bed because I've got so much that I want to achieve in my life and I know that one of the biggest steps to helping me achieve that is having this regular exercise routine so I'm going to train regardless and and once I've exercised even if I'm feeling so rubbish before as soon as I'm finished I'm like whoa I feel amazing afterwards and that is what it's about 
Um, my body is also getting my guns back. Mm, mm, mm. And I think in the past, people kind of said, oh, you're too muscly or whatever. Not that it's up to anybody else how my body looks, but that's, I am strong. And I was talking to my friend about this the other day, because she was like, oh, how's your, you know, your gymming going and everything. And I said, you know, I haven't really lost weight, but I'm toning up. And she just said, that's your station. That's you, you're strong. And that's what happens. Like I, I grow muscle quite quickly and I'm like, I'm just strong. Um, obviously I'd like to be leaner and I'm vegan so I'm trying out different diets because I haven't I've been vegan for nearly three years but within that time I haven't really trained properly so I've never trained properly on a like on a vegan diet so I'm kind of like trying different things and working different things out I've just sent my um, boyfriend to the shop to get some chocolate so things are going well but yeah I am um, I'm enjoying eating food but I am enjoying the feeling and the the positivity and joy that comes from me um doing exercise and you know what when i was in school i fucking hated pe i hated it i hated doing any i would i would be the person that got notes to get out of it all the time i hated all of it and i was like i never want to run i don't want to do anything i am um, i've entered the ballot for the london marathon I just but i want to challenge myself and i want to do like as many things as i possibly can and that's why i think it's so important not to say i don't like this i don't like that because most of the time our experiences of it are something that happened to us you know when we were younger and they shape we go through life never trying it again because we've already decided we don't like it but that was bloody 11 year old us and now we're 30 year old us and we're still saying we don't like something that we haven't even tried and it could be that something that you try that changes your perspective and your life i got really ill at one point because i had eating disorders and i was doing loads of exercise and i was just obsessed and sometimes i was in the gym twice a day and i'd be there for hours and you know it wasn't a healthy place to be i wasn't good i wasn't happy but now i am good i am happy and i'm taking control of my life and um and i think that's really really important i'm itching my belly now round this up round this naked truth up quickly round it up round it up round it up round it up your body is your vehicle it's like a car it's your vehicle for this lifetime for this journey that your life is yeah so this is your car right and if you have a car or you want to have a car or you know anything about cars you can't just put any fuel in cars because if you put any shit fuel in them they will break they're going to have more problems and if you put the wrong fuel in they'll just stop running altogether and not only that if you have a car and you never take it out for a run and you just leave it stationary doesn't really go anywhere it's likely to get more problems because things seize and things rust and things don't work anymore and our bodies are exactly the same they're our biggest support system because we can't do life without our bodies so they're like this gift they're like our friends and we need to make sure we're taking care of them and the way that we can do that is by making sure that we're aware of what we're putting into our bodies and what we're doing with our bodies so although we think oh we like i like mcdonald's i like this i like that that is a mental construct and that is just like because it gives you pleasure but it doesn't help your body so it's worth kind of thinking about and weighing up like how you want to live your life and what outcome you want to have because you need to treat your body well to make sure that you get the best results from it so forget what you think you know in terms of what you like and what you don't like and start changing shit because you have the power to do that and that is a beautiful beautiful thing i hope you enjoyed this video my name is clara i will be back with more videos very soon next video i'm going to be doing a q a with my boyfriend who is i think the most annoying boyfriend in the world but he's also pretty great so if you have any questions for us please leave them in the comment section below <clears throat> I will be doing a Q&A as well. There was a Naked Truth Q&A um, on the last video. So you can do questions for that. Just any questions you've got, just shove them in the box. And not my box, the comment box below. Peace out. I've been Clara. Love y'all.